Hi everyone, I can't believe how dark and miserable it's out there. It's so dark, it's so dark in here. This is my brightest room, the kitchen, but it's, I probably will have to buy some extra lights because it's beyond dark. Uh, so the central heating is on, it's really dry in the air and my hands are really dry and I hate that. I'm obsessed with hand creams and I always try out new hand creams all the time. Um, I try to gravitate towards natural hand creams because the chemicals and, and bad stuff, the fillers and so on that the ordinary hand creams have on will go into your body and if you apply and reapply, you know, it accumulates and, and you don't want that. You know, if you, if you use a hand wash that is not a natural hand wash, that's fine because you wash that off, but a hand cream that you use quite often, I think it's important to use and as natural as you can. So um, my first one is by Green and Spring. This is a fairly new one for me. I've only used it for a couple of months. It's quite light, but it's really nourishing. It goes on really well. And you don't have to apply it so often either. It just stays there. And the smell is lovely. It's sort of peppermint and clary sage, which is quite unusual for a hand cream, I think. So nothing sort of girly at all about that one. Um, it's £12 for £75, <laughs> 75 ml. And... Um, it contains cocoa uh, butter and shea butter as well. So that's my first one. My second one, it's, it's not number one, but it's one of my one, two, three, four, five, six hand creams <laughs> that I'm, I'm using at the moment. The second one is Valida's pomegranate hand cream. And this one is a little bit more sort of oily. You only need a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. It goes in super well and it gives your hands sort of a sheen. So it's really good if you've got pram hands or sort of um, aged hands or, or you know, it will come up a bit sort of shiny and the skin looks nicer. Uh, this one is, let's see, 9.95 for 50 ml and um, it contains shea butter and sesame oils and pomegranate oil of course which is uh, a good antioxidant so I do really like that one. My next one is by Aesop. I love this one. I love the packaging and I love their little shops. I love the one in Soho. I think they're great. <clears throat> it's quite thick. goes on well. Um, it's got sort of a woody, a little bit, yeah, a bit woody smell to it, and the smell is quite strong. Uh, it's got almond oil and coconut oil in there as well. And how much is it? Eighteen pounds for seventy-five ml. And again, you only need the tiniest amount. This one. My next one is a great budget buy. It's by a British brand called Green Space and it's called Organic Cocoa Butter Hand and Nail Cream. It's 100ml and it only costs you 5 50 so I think it's great value for money. Again, this is quite thick and quite greasy, but I also find that you will have to reapply quite often. So, but I think it's, it smells lovely and I think um, for that money, I think it's absolutely great. I love, 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 love Julique's hand creams. I've been using them for probably 15 years or more. Um, I started with the lavender and then the rose and now I have the jasmine and now I buy them every year. They smell so oh, gorgeous. You only need the tiniest amount. This is probably way too much. And it goes on so well, and you just feel how it nourishes your hands. Oh, they smell divine, all of them. I think the jasmine is my favorite at the moment, but I sort of alternate. Um, how much is it? £17 for 40 ml. But again, you need such a small amount. It's got safflower seed oil, macadamia oil, honey, and vitamin E in here. 
uh, I think it's amazing. It's my, I think if I were to choose one or if somebody said to me, you can only buy one hand cream for the rest of your life, I would buy Jolique's ones, definitely. And my last one is this Burt's Bees Hand Repair Cream. And this is really heavy duty. Look at that, how thick that is. If you've got really, really super dry hands, you can use this as a treatment. Just put it on at night and put some of those horrible cotton gloves on and go to bed and I'm sure you will wake up with really, really soft hands the day after. It's also really good for dry heels. I mean, this is really super heavy duty. So that's my favorite hand creams at the moment. And uh, until next time, see you later. Bye.